Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos. Welcome back once again to Let's Play Silent Hunter 3. Last episode was uh, quite wonderful. It was very successful. We got two ships um, with a single uh, salvo of torpedoes. Very, uh, very effective. And we are running away from this large convoy because shallow water. I'm sure you all remember what happened last time. Uh, I decided to pull away and uh, not to attack anymore. We are going to have to do some more reloading of external tubes at some point, but that is something we will do when we hit deep water uh, and when we get away from any potential allied counterattack that might come along here. So the game plan, what is our game plan this time? This episode I think we will scarper out to deep water in uh, grid AM52 and then we're going to head down out towards the uh, western approaches to do some patrolling around off the west coast of Ireland. Uh, if we can't catch anything here, I'll we'll probably actually patrol more uh, this area here. Where's my tool? It's been a few days since I've played this. I'm forgetting where all my tools are. Here we go. Uh, we might patrol, how about here? Yeah, around sort of AM 40, uh, 43 and 46, uh, sort of this area. And if we can't find anything here, we will then head back down to where we found our last, uh, very first episode, we sank that small um, coastal freighter. And we'll probably head back into that area and sort of uh, patrol around there. And uh, that should uh, that should be the, this episode. Let's see how far we get. First thing we need to do though, is get away from any aircraft and destroyers that might be looking for us. I'm sure they've sent something to find us down here. They certainly know we're around uh, there's no chance whatsoever that these ships didn't uh, send some kind of distress call. So yeah, we just got to get out of here and um, that's the plan in the short term. Uh, we've done some crew management as well, so everyone's in their appropriate compartments and they're all resting. For the most part, I might do a little bit more in a, in a bit off screen. But yeah, we're just going to take our time heading out here. I don't want to waste too much fuel, we're charging batteries. So yeah, that's the plan. Head out here and I'll get back to you once we hit our new patrol area. Alright, well I've only just arrived at this uh, patrol zone. I was going to do some pottering around here. Uh, the visibility is still terrible, so I wasn't sure how much we'd find, but uh, we just got a contact report. So that's great. They're heading uh, east, northeast, so that's approximately that. And they'd be going slow, so we guess I'm going to guess about eight uh, eight knots, which means she should cover about 15 uh, miles every hour. She's not far out at all. That's 15 kilometers, actually. Wow, she's not far out at all. So we are going to go to um, to full ahead, and we're going to see if we can intercept this. I don't think we can see her. No, not yet. All right, so let's let's take advantage of the weather. Uh, it's in our favor in the sense that she can't see us. Uh, that could help. So yeah, let's let's see if we can catch her. We're gonna go up here. Uh, I might even go ahead flank actually because we're just that close. And then we're gonna follow this approximate line. Um, it's probably more if she's going the direction I think she is. She's probably more, almost further north actually. There's an arc. There'll be an arc of. Um, maybe so that if that's due north she'll be sort of somewhere in between that so I'll, I'll try and aim within that arc and we'll see if we can catch her let's uh, see what we can find right here we are at periscope depth uh, I am going to stay down here for a short time and see if we can uh, hear her we are going a little bit too fast to use that hydrophone though so let's uh, slow down just a little. Well, quite a lot actually. It's slow down here. I haven't heard anything yet, which surprises me. Um, because she can't be far away. And this hydrophone man should be able to hear pretty far away. I mean, within, you know, certainly within a radius of 10 kilometers, he should be able to hear sort of that at least. Although the weather might have something to do with it. So let's slow down. We might even take over ourselves. We know she'll be ahead here somewhere. Doesn't... I can't hear anything there. Can 
we hear anything? No, nope, nothing. That's that's strange. I'm a little surprised. It must be the weather. Oh well, we'll stay down here for a while because it is pretty terrible up there and I think we're much more likely to hear her than we are to actually see her. So um, let's just chug along for a little while and hopefully she will bump into us uh, sooner rather than later. She's off that way. It looks like she... I'm assuming that's the same ship. It looks like she's changed course completely. So I don't know if I got that totally wrong. Um, it looks like I might. I, I think she must be zigzagging because by looks of things, it's it's going that way now, which is definitely not uh, north uh, northeast or whatever it was going. Uh, I can't remember now, but yeah, it was heading up this way. So unless I made a complete uh, dog's breakfast of that um, reading there, uh, she's changed course, so we're going to have to go back to to surface, uh, which is going to be fun, and uh, yeah, interceptor. So let's do that now. Surface the boat. Off top. And uh, let's get some speed up here. Ahead. I hate this thing. Ahead for. Volle Fahrt voraus. Volle Fahrt voraus. Let's watch her surface. Why not? I don't think we've watched a proper surface yet. There she comes. She's been a good submarine so far. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can catch this thing. I'm not optimistic now, it's quite a ways off, but uh, we'll see. We might get lucky. Right, we got her. Um, now, I'm just looking at this. East northeast. It wasn't north northeast at all. I just misread it. So basically, I'm an idiot. Uh, we sent the submarine in the complete wrong direction. But fortunately for us, she's so damn slow, we were actually able to uh, to locate her. So let's see what we got here. What was the um, 71? 71. 71 degrees. Ooh, hello. What do we have here? That's definitely worth shooting at. That looks like a uh, Granville style freighter. She's all on her own too. So we'll. Uh, We'll see if we can catch that. We'll move into position. It's a little bit light out. Um, you know the drill. I'll basically take her speed, which I'll do now. Boom. Um, oops. There we go. I'll take her speed and uh, try not to get spotted. Uh, we'll see if we can move, move into position. Uh, this visibility will hopefully help us, but we do need to change course before she spots us because we're actually closing in. Uh, so we know more or less where she's headed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clean this up and we're trying to try and get close to her. Uh, and I'll get back to you once we have some more action. Right, we're getting into position now. We've just spotted her again. She doesn't seem to have spotted us. Uh, but we definitely need to go to periscope depth about now. Um, we're going to have to change where is she... There she Whoa, she's close. Okay, crash dive. Ah! It's this bloody weather. She spots us, which she might have already. We might have a problem catching her. Hopefully she hasn't seen our wake. Okay, periscope depth. I'll see you again. And slow down the boat. Okay, that's embarrassing. I guess the men were asleep. Well, I suppose I will just, uh, wow, that dropped fast. So we're just going to have to turn around. They're shouting a lot, sorry. I'm not sure if that's as loud for you as it is for me. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to change course here and just hope for the best. Um, come back to periscope depth and have a peek, see whether whether she's taking uh, evasive action or not. This is um, a bit of a botched job, but... I'm uh, hopeful that we'll get her. We've got all our torpedoes loaded now. So I think she's, uh, well, she's definitely worth uh, a try. Let's see if we can catch her. Well, welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that slight uh, emergency that we had to witness there. But uh, these things happen. She is a lot closer than I thought she was. She's definitely British, and I don't think she's seen us. She's getting along rather quickly, actually. Um, I th I'm thinking maybe 
Uh, I got seven knots earlier, but uh, we'll try it. Get her speed again. Meanwhile, we'll try and identify her. So, here we go. We're going to go for the attack, for sure. Whoops, what am I doing? We're uh, this way. Yep. It's definitely a merchant. So, what are we dealing with? Just keep an eye on that clock. I am not very familiar with the... I hope it's not a passenger ship. No, it's d definitely not. Although it might yet turn out to be. It's a single stack, so let's look for the single stack vessels. Troop ship, that's half a minute. <clears throat> Slow down to one knot, please. I'm getting... Good, eins, that's good. So we're just looking for anything with one stack in the middle. Oh, could it be another... It might be another Granville style freighter, but then again... Yeah, I think it might be another Granville. Uh, that's one minute. Hmm. The rigging looks a bit different, though, doesn't it? The thing is, they all have different color schemes. Um, so it can be difficult to tell sometimes what you're dealing with. It's definitely not that. I'm sure many of you are more familiar with the ships than I am. Um, I think it might be another Granville style or Granville type. Is it? No. No, I don't think so. I think we're dealing with another Granville type. It's coming up to two minutes now. It can only be a Granville. I know this is tedious, but uh, might as well while we're two minutes, while we're taking the speed. I don't know, her stack? No. Her stack seems a little tall for a grand ball. Well, I flicked through everything. I think the only thing it could be is a grand ball type. Right now. Anything I've missed? Empire, maybe? No, it's definitely not an empire. It's a grand ball type. Yeah, it's definitely a Granville type. So let's enter that. This has got to be three minutes now. Let's have a look. Pull that up, please. She hasn't seen us. That's good. That's good news. Let's do this in real time, shall we? Uh, coming up to three minutes now. Just let's get a, an approximate range. 1,600. So we'll continue at... Um, Actually, I'm going to go up to two knots now. And we're just about to come up on a speed here. Five, two, one, bingo. Okay. Now, I had seven knots before. And, ooh, now we have eight. What do you think? Seven or eight? I think I might say seven, maybe seven and a bit. And then fire a little bit ahead as well with the second torpedo. We're going to shoot two torpedoes at her. Uh, we may just have time to take her speed one more time. Let's try with this tool here. I always get those confused. This one. Yeah, it's seven knots. I think it's seven. Right, so we can get to our targeting computer. I've been bad with the periscope discipline here. Let's get that down, for God's sake. Uh, shut that up. So, actually, we'll just lower this for now. Down, down, scope, please. Five, six, seven knots. Five, six, seven. So that's the speed done. Now, angle on bow. Just get this set up approximately. Uh, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to draw a line to follow first. Get that scope up, please. Draft. We'll probably fire two torpedoes at this one. I'm considering firing all three off. Um, but I'm hoping we won't need them. I don't know. Maybe I'll fire all three off. 
just let's go out with a bang, shall we? Um, so let's follow this line. Good. Uh, we've got an approximate course. We can finally use this to get her angle on bow. She's moving quite quickly. I'm wondering if a, maybe she is going eight knots. That looks like about 70. 60. By the time I get entered now, she's on the port side. 60. It's about that. We'll take it again in a moment. What am I forgetting? Torpedo settings. What are we shooting this time? They are mark. Okay, so we can shoot fast, although in this weather I prefer to shoot medium. So let's set up these torpedoes quickly. Uh, if I can remember where, do we, where are we going. Oh, and I need to battle stations as well. What am I thinking? So much to remember. Where's the damn crew management? Yep. Okay, good, 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 good. Everyone in there, and this time we have a weapon officer as well. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Um, range. Let's have an approximation of 1,500, because I just checked it earlier. Hope she hasn't seen us. Slow down to one knot, please. We're getting, we're getting close. I need to set up these torpedoes right now. Medium. Let's set this for three. One, two, three, four, that's four. Let's say three and a half. Medium, also three and a half. And this one will be set for four. That's two and a half. What am I thinking? Three. Three. Four. Okay, good. Set them all for medium. And impact, please. Not magnetic. Very important. Okay, they're all set. Angle on the bow. One more time, please. Oh, it'll be almost 90 degrees now. We're running out of time. This one. 82. 85. It's 85. How are we doing? Angle on bow. 85. Range, we're going to leave it at that. Open tubes. 1 and 2. Get ready, people. We're going to have a... Yep, we're only 5 degrees off. How's the gyro angle looking? Not bad. Alright. Tube 1. Fire. Tube 2. Loss. And I'm going to fire the last one. Tube three. Loss. That's the last of our torpedoes, people. We've only got the rear ones now. I'm sure she's going faster than seven knots. Let's turn that around. Uh, I am not entirely optimistic about this, but uh, we will see. I hope I've got the recording on again. My recording software is somewhat temperamental and sometimes it just re refuses to turn off. I don't think we're going to get her. I think she's a bit... She's going faster than seven knots, I swear she is. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Look at that. that that's, that's looking good. That's looking quite good. Torpedo treffer. Impact. Got her. Right down midship, so that was the correct speed. I think we got... That's two. Slight overkill, in fact. Oh, I think we broke her back. Yeah, she's going down. Wow. Talk about overkill. We could have saved that last torpedo. Boom. Oh, man. That's three impacts and... Talk about overkill. There goes a flare. Yep. Success. Well done, men. Well done. 
Well, that was a lot more successful than I thought it would be. Shall we go and have a look outside? Maybe we'll stay in here for now. Oh wow, look at the wreckage. Might as well have a look. Why not? Just always worry that my uh, computer's gonna complain. We didn't break her back. They got one boat off, that's good for them. Oh. Yep. Man, oh man. We blew a stack off. Uh, she's not going to last long at all. I find that these uh, Granville types tend to go down pretty, pretty easily, actually. I can hear her. She's making a plunge. So yeah, let's go back into the boat before my uh, computer decides to die. And uh, yeah, that's that. Well, I wish I'd save that last torpedo, but there's only so much you can do with uh, one torpedo anyway, so maybe it was better that we did fire everything off while we had the chance. That was very successful, so she will just bob there for a while and then sink, presumably. Good stuff. Well, that was quite a successful attack. I'm very happy with that. I think that was worth a few torpedoes. Slight overkill, perhaps, but, you know... I really wanted to get that one. Um, our fuel situation is pretty good too. We're definitely going to run out of torpedoes before we run out of fuel. We've still got all our stern tubes, but uh, they're a little bit tricky to use and you only get one shot. So yeah, I don't know uh, whether we'll end up using them all, but I'm definitely not going to stop quite yet. We're going to continue our patrol for a little while longer, uh, head down south back towards uh, the channel. Hopefully uh, we'll catch some more ships down there. Uh, if this weather uh, will finally calm down, we might even be able to use the deck gun. I suppose we'll just have to go down there and find out. Alright, here we are. We're at our new patrol zone. We're at AM79 and we're going to stay here for a while. The weather out there is still pretty terrible, unfortunately. But um, I'm just going to patrol around here for a while. It's uh, going to be... Fairly dull work, I think, but um, I'm hoping that something will appear uh, along this um, line here heading into the channel, or more likely into Bristol. Uh, now, if we can't find anything here, we'll then move down to uh, BE-33, I think, um, or possibly even into BF, is that BE or BF? Yeah, it is BE, um, or uh, BF-11. Uh, I just want to be careful of this shallow water here. So we're going to try and avoid the shallow water and uh, just patrol it around, uh, spend a few days looking for something to use our stone torpedoes on. Uh, it took us about a day to get down here, so it's now the 17th uh, of April. I think we sank that ship up there on the 16th. So yeah, we're, uh, we've got a few, uh, a few more days, I think, to go before we start uh, thinking about heading home. Our fuel situation is fine. We've still got more than half our fuel left, so we'll stay here for a while and see what we can find. Oh, uh, well, look at that. That's much better. The seas are much calmer now, um, which makes me happy because I'm utterly sick of being bobbed around like a cork. But we do have some news here. We have uh, a convoy report. This is heading north-northwest, um, so really in the opposite direction to us. Uh, I'm not going to try and intercept that, and of course I can only fire one torpedo at them anyway um, before having to dive. I'm not going to risk the lives of my men uh, with only one torpedo uh, in the tubes. So yeah, we're just going to keep looking. Um, though that's promising, that shows that there is shipping in the area. Let's keep going, hope that the weather continues to improve. The visibility is still uh, moderate, but Moderate is better than poor, so we'll just continue looking for anything to shoot at. Uh, he's hoping we catch something on its own out here in this um, rather grey Atlantic Ocean. Alright, well we haven't found anything yet. Uh, we've been patrolling around here for a couple of days now. It's the 19th of April. So I think I'll move uh, into the uh, next grid here, BE-33, and then head back 
towards the Irish coast. Uh, so we'll just patrol around here uh, for a while. Um, we did have another convoy report up here, but it was heading um, northeast, so wasn't going to try and intercept that. Yeah, it's um, surprisingly empty out here. I'm sure that the visibility has something to do with that. It's still only moderate visibility out there. So what I might start doing when I get here, uh, to this waypoint here, is actually start um, going to periscope depth during the day, and we might actually have more luck hearing things than seeing them. So that might be a tactical employ. So yeah, let's continue and uh, keep hoping, keep searching. All right, finally, some action. We have uh, a ship on its own here heading due east at medium speed. So, I mean, that could be a, um, a lone destroyer patrolling around for submarines. So that's something to keep in mind, but uh, still worth checking out. So I'm going to go ahead full, I think. And, um, okay, so supposing she's medium, that might mean she's going maybe 12 knots. So she should be getting about, um, let me see. Let's say she's going about 12 knots. She'll be going 22 per, uh, per hour. So that's about right. Um, I'm going to see if I can get ahead of that. I'll keep her track of the time. And, uh, if I can get a little bit ahead of her, I'll cut in and see if I can intercept. But uh, we are dealing with quite large distances, so, you know, I don't like our chances of catching this one, but uh, it's worth a try. Definitely worth a try. Well, we're turning in now. We're going to try and intercept. Um, I have been rather cleverly tracking her, her course, assuming she hasn't uh, change direction um, and assuming that she's going around 12 knots uh, I've been trying to get ahead of her just taking marks every hour to um, to get an indication of where she might be uh, when we actually turn in to catch her so let's see if I've got this right um, we might just turn that in a little bit more and I'll do some time compression of course it's possible she's changed course um, I'm sure she's not going any faster than, unless she's a warship, I doubt she's going faster than 12 knots. So, yeah, at this point she should be about, hang on, slow that down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to miss her a little bit, so we're going to have to go f a little bit further along. Let's go up here, shall we? Maybe to the end of that. So let's track this for another hour. Uh, she should be about here now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's continue. Let's have a look outside. What's the time? About midnight now, so it's pretty damn dark out there. But at least it's, uh, at least it's fairly, um, calm. Now, actually, I have an idea. Let's go to periscope depth for a while. And, uh, see if we can hear her. How far away are we? Yeah, if she's around here, we should be able to hear her. <sighs> it's really dark out there. Barely see it all, so I'm imagining that you can't see anything on the video. Uh, maybe just a slight silhouette and bubbles. That's that's literally all I can see. So, I think there's no there's no point in being out here. Uh, we need to slow those engines down. Let's slow down, right down, and see if we can hear anything. Well, I don't like our chances here. Of course, she could be going slower than 10, 12 knots, which means that I've overshot a little bit. Hmm. Can't hear anything. We'll stay under here for a little while. Let's just do some time. No, he can't hear it. Oh, there you are. I knew she was around somewhere. Well done. Yep, so now we know exactly where she is. Uh, she's actually about there as of 125. Sorry, uh, midnight. 
1225. Uh, so there, we know more or less where she is. That's great. Um, all right, what I think I might do is I might get a, a little further ahead of her and then uh, cut in to meet her, let's say, about like so. I'll probably do that. I'll, I'll surface in a moment. Let's just have a listen. Maybe we can see what we're dealing with. All right, smartass. What what can you hear that I can't? Come on. Okay, we're away. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can hear that. Yep. Those are propellers, all right. Okay, well done. That's uh, well done on the sand uh, part of the sound man there. All right, let's keep going. See if we can intercept. I'll get back to you once we have her. Okay, well, we've sighted her. This is interesting. Uh, at 12... Almost 13 kilometers out, uh, and there's a reason for that. Two reasons, as a matter of fact. First being that we now have a lot of moonlight, as you can see, that have dumped in hell. Um, and that is just making the whole ocean glow right now. It's a lot more uh, luminous out here than it was an hour ago. And there she is. The other reason, of course, is that she is fully lit, which would suggest to me that she is either neutral or possibly a hospital ship. So I doubt we'll be torpedoing this. Uh, judging by her silhouette, I would guess that that's a hospital ship. I might actually close in a little bit just because of pure curiosity. Um, I want to see what we're dealing with. Uh, also, we obviously now got beautifully calm seas and perfect visibility. Um, the weather has obviously improved considerably. Let's have a look. Light clouds, no rain, excellent visibility. Well. That's good and bad, I suppose. It means we're less likely to get jumped by destroyers. So I'm just going to close in a little bit on this thing. I'm curious as to what we're dealing with. And uh, then I will just continue our patrol, I suppose, and um, keep looking. Shall I? I think I might... Actually, I'm not going to bother cutting it. I'm just going to do some time compression here. So, we'll change course. I will go to periscope depth, I think. Alright as well. You can see the lights over there. Okay, well, yeah, just curiosity more than anything is driving me forward. So. If I get this, yeah, we'll stay at full speed. Let's use up all our battery power, why don't we? I'll just do some time compression. This is also good practice, intercept practice. Check our battery power, which it will drain really fast if we move at this speed. And once we get to about here, I'm going to raise the periscope. Slow down. Back to normal speed. This is all no doubt a waste of time, but curiosity just drives me forward, what can I say? I don't know, it's silhouette says to me it's a hospital ship. Um, I'm definitely not firing at it. Uh, there's no way I can see the cloud, uh, the, um, the flag, that is, not cloud in this darkness anyway, so let's just cheat because I've made, a, I've made my decision at this point that we're not going to try and attack it. But just out of pure curiosity, I'd like to see what it is that we're dealing with. And am I right? Yes, it is indeed a hospital ship. I can just see that in the darkness, the, the silhouette. Look at that. Uh, it's flying the flag of the Red Cross. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, apparently that's, that's what you do. So, yep, definitely made the right decision not attacking that. Uh, the convention was uh, during World War II that if you were a 
a hospital ship, you would remain fully lit, I believe, uh, in case you were misidentified in the darkness. So, yeah, very cool. Very cool touch to the game. So we'll let that go and continue uh, traveling around looking for something more legal <laughs> to shoot at. And um, just hope that they haven't been slightly mean and called in the RAF. Hopefully they didn't even see us. So I w uh, wish them luck, I suppose. Well, that's much better. Look at that. Clear blue skies and oceans too. Um, this is how I like to play the game. On nice smooth seas where you can actually aim your deck gun. I think I'll call this episode to a close now. Uh, it's been going for well over half an hour. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think we can get one more episode out of this out of this patrol. Uh, just look at the, that green water. I really love that green water mod. Very atmospheric. Anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll end, uh, end the episode at this point and um, I'll get back to you uh, in the next episode. This has been Kairos and thank you all very much for viewing.